Hey, what's up guys? This is 3D Bonfire back with another amazing tutorial and today is a very special day. Maxon just released a new version of Cinema 4D. Cinema 4D 2025 is finally out and it comes with a lot of cool features but in this tutorial already I want to be very specific and just talk about one of the new features which is the follow spline modifier and you can see that I use this modifier combined with a little bit of turbulence and some other stuff to create a powerful complex look with just a couple of of mouse clicks honestly so this was not complex to create but the result that you get out of the particle engine looks complex it looks powerful it looks beautiful so I just love that this particle engine is becoming stronger and stronger and it becomes easier and easier to create really nice complex looks with your particles so this is what I want to reveal to you today how you can create this movement here all right let me just quickly go through a couple of different versions here so of course you can also for example mesh your particles to create some liquid motion this is also something that you can do or just play with the light and create some other looks here okay that's also cool here is another example with the follow spline modifier which is using the same principle just look at the complexity of the motion and the different colors and all of that stuff so I think that you really should learn how to do that and I think that we should just dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun let me just quickly mention that if you want to dive deeper into Cinema 4D and the particle engine then this one is the right place for you. You can see that quite a lot of people already trust me. I release a lot of content over there. You can get some stuff for free so just join for free but the advanced training will be all in the Knights tier all right and if you want to see about which topics I will create upcoming tutorials then you can check out Marcus Gonza 3D on Instagram that's me okay and you can also go to marcusgonzagumroad.com to download some free stuff all right and now let's find dive into Cinema 4D and have some fun. Alright C4D friends, finally in Cinema 4D 2025 you can see that this one is my project file and here is a representation in the Redshift Live Viewer which looks really beautiful but I have to pause Redshift for now because my system is just getting too loud and the audio quality will just suffer a little bit so this is why I paused it. But let's just directly dive into particle knowledge here. So for example one thing that you can see here is that I built up complexity in different layers. So for example you can see here is one particle system and then another it is getting more complex and more complex and more complex and then I will have like a special system here which will be even more emissive than the other particles for example you can see these particles here all right and also down there and this is exactly what you can see here so you can see some of these particles they are just more emissive some are a little bit more metallic and stuff like that so there are different ways to build up complexity but one is definitely to just add up up layers of different particles but I would say you can also keep it more simple with just one outer system of particles and one for the inner for example so you don't have to go as complex as I did it here but just to prove it to you how this one is looking so we can also just quickly fire up Redshift but as I said my system will get soon pretty loud but you can see now we only see this one particle system but for example when we add this one on top of it now it will just get a little bit more dense here and this one here will add some glowing particles down there and I think like this one will add some glow particles over there but already you can hear that my system is getting loud but I just wanted to prove to you that this is one way to build up complexity but now let's deactivate these ones and let's just focus on one system here and let's look at the list of ingredients here so you can see that I'm working with the new follow spline you will find this one I guess like here in the modifiers let's just go down there follow spline this one is the new modifier that I used here to align these particles onto a spline. Let's just open this one up. You can see that this one has a target spline, outer spline. Let me just search for this one. It's this one. You can barely see it, but I could move it up there. But you can see that this one is laying exactly in the center of this tube here. Let's reset the position down there. And I think it's like a good idea to deactivate the cache. So let's uncache this one. I will also just delete the path here. And now let's just see what 
will happen here. When I initially emit these particles, let me just see this one is a spline emitter. Okay, so this one is also emitting the particles from the spline and also they will follow the spline. So in both of these objects, you have to put your outer spline into it or whatever spline you are using. Let's just see what is happening here. All right, so okay, this one is looking almost like a flower here, but you can see particles are emitted from it with a certain direction, but they just don't follow the spline. Something crazy is happening here. So they will just fly outwards in their initial vector. Okay, this is not what you want to have. You want to use the follow spline here. Let's just see what will happen now. And already you can see that these particles now blow along your spline. And to be honest, like this is like a basic feature. It's nothing complex, right? It's just doing exactly what you expect of it. You can see that I changed the numbers here a little bit. So for example, when I would just go inside of this one and let's just create way less particles so we can see them better. Okay, now you can see how they flow along. We can also probably just go here and make them bigger. And I will also decrease this one even further. Let's just see how this one is looking just so that we have a good representation of our particles and we can just easily understand it. So for example, when you go to the follow strength, when I will increase this one to one, then I think like these ones, they are just even stronger. Follow the spline. You can see that it's going really fast. So actually you can work with little numbers here. Let's just see this one with two. All right, this is already getting out of hand because now you can see because of their inertia, they will be dragged outwards. And this is something that you want to prevent, I would say. This is why in my ingredients list here, I also have a collide modifier. Let's also activate this one and let's put this one down to a more reasonable number like 0.6. And let me see once again what is happening here. But already you can see now the particles, they follow along the spline, but in combination with the collide, light, you just make sure that they really don't go outside of your glass tubes. And when I would click on the collide, then you can see that this one is set to repel. All right, this is looking good. And I think there is another invisible object here. You can activate this one. The outer collide wall object, you need to have a collide attack on this one so that the collide modifier will read this one as the collision object. Okay, so just make this one invisible. But you can see that you can combine the follow spline with the collide to achieve exactly what you want here. All right, let's just see this once again. Now you can just make this one more complex or you can just slow it down, for example, with a little bit of friction. If you just want to achieve a more physical look, like there is some resistance in the air or just some kind of a physical volume that these particles will have to travel through. Okay, so this will just add a little bit of physicality to it. If this one is even an English word, I'm not sure. But now you can see that I will just add a little bit of turbulence to it. All right, this one is coming with a small scale noise. And then you can also add a bigger noise to it to achieve a mixture of small movement and bigger movement. And there you would already have like a beautiful motion. Then you can even combine it with a little bit of flocking to let some particles in a certain radius clump together. And if you will do everything right, and probably now it is time to just go a little bit higher with the particles then you will have some beautiful motion. You can see some of them will just clump together. And overall, this is doing exactly what we want it to do for us. Okay. And if you have one system that is working for you, then for example, you can just make a copy of it and just change the settings for this one. Maybe this one has a little bit more flocking. It will have a different turbulence and stuff like that. For example, you can see that this one is actually clumping a lot together. So you get just some different particles behavior here. And you can see that I'm doing this intensely with different systems over there. And when you would add all of these ones together, so hopefully you have seen that you can achieve powerful results really, really easy with the Cinema 4D particle engine. Oh, and one thing guys, if you are curious about the lighting and the modeling and all that kind of stuff, I most probably will do a longer version of this tutorial, maybe also with a project file for my patrons. Okay. But here on YouTube, I just wanted to keep it short and precise and focus on the particles. And what more can I say here? I will dive deeper into these tools. So just be sure to expect more of tutorials for Cinema 4D 2025 from my side. I will also talk about the other features in upcoming lessons 
lessons. As you already know, most of the training will be on my Patreon. So if you really want to level up your skill set, then this could be a good place for you. But of course, you will also find a lot of stuff on YouTube. So I would say subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope that you learned something. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye everyone.